crisis. What crisis? It may look overcast today, but the sun always shines for this man. Klaus Streitner has a device on his roof that manages to coax thermal energy out of the cloudiest of skies. This is not your standard black photovoltaic plate. These tubes are solar thermal collectors with a difference. They consist of evacuated glass tubes with a copper plate inside, coated with titanium nitride oxide. Through that goes a thin pipe carrying a liquid that heats up extremely quickly. Retiree Streitner set up the system three years ago. He used to heat with gas before he got the solar bug. First of all, to save money, gas is expensive and the price will probably continue to rise. Second, for the environment, and at some point the gas is going to run out. And this is the man who's turning the innovative tubes into a marketable success. Reinhold Weiser was a solar pioneer back in the 1980s. Eight years ago, he and a team of partners from the light tube industry in eastern Germany took the principle of solar thermal energy a step further. Compared with photovoltaics, or harvesting electricity from the sun, this sector did not look as likely to get off the ground. There was a phase when photovoltaic energy got substantial funding, which helped to create a market for it. And I have to say that solar thermal energy did not enjoy the same treatment. Solar thermal energy was bedeviled by the problems involved in fitting the tubes. Visor has since developed highly practical plug-in parts. As a result, the vacuum tube collectors can be aligned at optimal angles to the sun to produce heat in the grayest and coldest of weather. They have very low outside temperatures in Canada. We have a facility over there where the temperatures can drop to minus 50 degrees Celsius in the winter. But it's still able to generate high carrier temperatures. The solution, the tube within a tube. The construction enables the heat to be transferred with a minimum of loss thanks to the high vacuum. Another innovation from Visor's company. The boss himself demonstrates how the tube clicks into place and can be rotated 360 degrees. It's all made in Germany and most of it assembled by hand. The Angermünde-based firm in the northeast of the country might still have that operating out of a garage look, but demand from overseas is growing. The message is spreading. In cold regions, solar heating may be more important than electricity. Power grid, renewable energy legislation, wind turbines, funding for photovoltaic plants, these are all issues in the public eye. But they're only 30 percent of the full picture. If we want to take renewables seriously, we need to consider the other 70 percent. The truth is that thermal energy has been treated like a poor relation by the government. Pfizer's tubes undergo substantial testing. The components come with a 20-year guarantee, come rain or storm. This solar innovator is clearly counting on a bright future.